And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Alberta Ceratops, which was a request from Michael via our Discord and Patreon. So thanks. Alberta Ceratops was a centrosaurian ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous and what is now Alberta, Canada, in the Oldman Formation. And it's estimated to be about 19 feet, 5.8 meters long, and weighs 7,700 pounds or 3,500 kilograms. It was an herbivore and a basal centrosaurine. And in Ceratopsia, there's two main groups. There's the centrosaurines and the chasmosaurs. Yeah, the centrosaurines usually have one big horn in the middle. It's easy to remember because it's got centro, so it's got that central big horn, kind of like on the nose like a rhino, and they tend to have fancier frills. So Styracosaurus is a centrosaurine. It's got the big nose horn and then a big fancy frill with all these little hornlet type things around the edge. And then chasmosaurines are the other group. The most famous one is Triceratops. They usually have two big brow horns right above the eyes and then a little tiny one on the nose, if anything is really there, and a less decorated frill. Yes. So Alberta Ceratops is an interesting one because it is a centrosaurine, but unlike other centrosaurines, it had two long brow horns like a chasmosaur. That's very weird. Mm -hmm. It had no nasal horn. Instead, it had a bony ridge or a bump on the top of its snout, and it had two holes in the frill, and the frill had two small horns that curved out to the sides. So pretty ornamental looking. The horns on the frill may have been for self-defense against something like Displetosaurus or for display. Or both. A complete skull was found in August 2001, and then Alberta Ceratops was named in 2007 by Michael Ryan. The type species is Alberta Ceratops mesmoi, and the genus name means Alberta horned face. The species name is in honor of Cecil Nesmo, a local rancher who has supported paleontology in the area. More specimens that were thought to be Alberta ceratops were found in Montana in the Judith River Formation, but then later found to be a new centrosaurine medusa ceratops. That's a good name. Yeah, so Michael Ryan and others found in 2010 that the Judith River Formation fossils were medusa ceratops, and they found that medusa ceratops and Alberta ceratops are close relatives, but there's some differences in the skull. And the biggest one is that while Alberta ceratops have one pair of hooks coming out of the side of its frill, medusa ceratops had two. David Evans and Michael Ryan started a Southern Alberta Dinosaur Research Group in 2005, along with colleagues from the Royal Tyrrell, University of Alberta, and University of Calgary, because Southern Alberta has potentially many dinosaurs, but it's a pretty remote area. And the support of local ranchers in the area is pretty key for finding dinosaurs and doing research. So the group, SADRG, Southern Alberta Dinosaur Research Group, helps researchers, government agencies, and local residents work together. Nice. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.